Scientists here have figured out why some people get diarrhea after taking the antibiotic commonly known as Augmentin. The drug is often used to treat illnesses including pneumonia and urinary tract infections. Now, in a study by SGH and the Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology, 30 volunteers were given a three-day course of Augmentin. Their stool samples were then analyzed for changes in the mix of gut bacteria. For more, we have Dr. Jean Sim, consultant at the Department of Infectious Diseases at SGH. She was part of that study. Dr. Jean, pneumonia, urinary tract infection, these are commonly, uh, common uh, illnesses. Um, how is this finding going to help patients, though? Uh, so um, we know that in our patients, pneumonia and uh, urinary tract infections are very common and to treat these bacterial infections, we often use an antibiotic called amoxicillin clavulinate, which is commonly known as augmentin. So uh, we know that up to a third of our patients actually develop antibiotic-associated diarrhea. And sometimes if the diarrhea is severe, the doctors may have to stop the antibiotic antibiotic prematurely, or we may have to switch to another drug that's more costly um, or can only be given intravenously. So they, these impacts on our patient's outcomes because it may prolong the patient hospital stay, leading to an increased risk of other types of infections. So uh, through the study, we managed to identify a bacterial family in stool that is lower, that was found to be significantly lower in people who develop antibiotic-associated diarrhea than people who do not. And this, um, this finding can allow clinicians perhaps in the future to tailor their um, antibiotic regimens or their therapeutic choices to help patients avoid these adverse kind of reactions. Uh, Dr. Sim, you mentioned the, the occurrence of diarrhea then means doctors have to find alternative uh, other families of antibiotics that they can use. Is there anything else that can be given alongside, say, augmentin that uh, alleviates the incidence of diarrhea, as an example? Um, so this may lead on to a further study where we want to see if perhaps... Um, other uh, species of this bacterial family known as ruminococci can be utilized as a probiotic um, that can then reduce the risk of our patients getting uh, antibiotic-associated diarrhea, but this is still um, uh, being planned for and in discussion. Dr. Sim, the team also developed a test to identify uh, people who are at risk of developing diarrhea from using Augmentin. How are those tests conducted? Can you share that with us? And, and how quickly are results turned around? Um, so unfortunately, the test that we are using um, in the lab is part of a clinical, it's part of a research-based test and is currently not used in clinical setting, but essentially it uses um, a PCR method to identify um, Fecali bacterium, which is uh, one of the most abundant um, uh, species of the Ruminococci family. And so unfortunately, it's not yet ready to be used in clinical practice. This was created by our collaborators in SMART. And thanks. That. that was Dr. Jean Sim, consultant at the Department of Infectious Diseases from SGH.